this weekend, the two sides meet in Dublin. Ireland will be hoping for their first victory against England in four years. The last time the two sides met in Ireland, England edged a tight encounter. And this year, there'll be no Brian O'Driscoll to plague the English. Ireland's leading try scorer and also the top try scorer in this fixture and in the championship. Ireland will be sure to exploit any vulnerability in England's defence. But in attack, England appear to have unearthed a gem in centre Jonathan Joseph. Head to head, England top most of the stats, including a try scoring advantage of over 100. But England's tendency to concede penalties could be crucial in what is expected to be a closely contested match. Italy travel to Scotland, keen to reverse last year's result in Rome. It was at the Stadio Olimpico where Italy secured their last win against Scotland back in 2012. Fullback Stuart Hogg has been Scotland's most effective player so far in this year's championship. And for Italy, Sergio Parisi has once again been leading the way. The fixture's overall top point scorer is Chris Patterson, but Italy will travel with positive thoughts to Murrayfield where they've experienced one of their rare away victories. France welcome Wales to Paris this weekend, hoping to end a three-game losing streak in the fixture. The last time Le Bleu even scored a try against Wales was back in 2011. France will want to make the most of their line-out. An area where Wales needs to improve. Despite having scored just one try so far, France have been impressive going forward. Wales will need to improve their discipline against a kicker with Camille Lopez's range. Wales had their own marksman in Lee Halfpenny, but Stephen Jones is the top point scorer in this fixture.